Welcome back to the Republic of China and Linco Stadium. Now, this is where the evening gets tougher, especially for me, because it's the interview competition featuring tongues of many lands. Well, tonight we are being translated around the world in 17 languages. Interpreters will be standing by on stage if necessary. Our semifinals get underway with the interview competition, and we begin with Miss Hong Kong. She is Pauline Jung, and she made her film debut recently as a leading lady in the film Dragon Forever. Hello, Pauline. Hello. Nice what, to meet you. Nice to meet you. What role did you play in Dragon Forever? Uh, I was the um, uh, main actress in the movie Dragon um, Forever, and uh, I was the um, girlfriend of Jackie Chan, who acts as a lawyer. And uh, we had to fight against these bad guys towards the end, but of course we won, and the police came at last. <laughs> That's the way it's supposed to be. Are you recognized here in Taiwan? Uh, yes, many people recognize me, um, like the, when we have outings and dinner, so many people ask me for my autographs and photographs, and that makes me so happy. Does it help you get a bargain? <laughs> oh, yes, it does, certainly. Without me asking for it, they, um, they said they'll give me discounts. <laughs> should take you shopping with me. Now, I know you also host a weekly television series. If you could interview anyone in the world, who would you like to talk to and what would you ask them about? Um, I think I would like to interview um, Eddie Murphy because I adore him. I think he's hilarious and he's such a good actor. And by interviewing him, I guess I'll learn a lot from him and I can become an even better actress. Well, you're already a terrific speaker. Miss Hong Kong, thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pauline Yoon. Next is Miss Dominican Republic. She is Patricia Jimenez. She's a university student studying architecture. Hello, Patricia. Patricia wants to design a total city, it says on her card. What would that city look like? Uh, I would like to design a city like a Brasilia, where the government building, apartment building, have a close relation. But uh, I would like a city with uh, past, because uh, with past, uh, you can live the present, and you can make future. It's a terrific concept. Suitable for Donald Trump. You wouldn't know him. What? If you could, um, if you could meet anyone in the world, Patricia, in your travels as, as Miss Universe, who would you like to meet? Si pudieras conocer a cualquier persona en el mundo como Miss Universo, a quién te gustaría conocer? I think I would like to know somebody who writes, a very famous writer. But uh, the writer that I more admire was uh, um, somebody in Argentina who is dying now. Um, but anyway, I would like to meet somebody like uh, Papa, Pop, Pope, thank you, um, because I would like to talk about our future in this world. It's a terrific idea. May you get that audience. Miss Dominican Republic. <laughs> Miss Mexico is Amanda Olivares. And she's studying business. Hello, Amanda. What kind of business would you like to see yourself in? Well, I would love to have my own business, and I think I would have to have a boutique with exclu exclusive clothing that would be one of a kind in my country. Mm -hmm. Now, you, uh, I think, would have unofficially won the award Miss Noisiest Cheering Section here. We had a, a, a preliminary the other night, and did you bring your own mariachi band? Who's here uh, cheering you on? Well, my parents are here, and I have a lot of friends from my hometown, which is Puebla. They came all the way from Taiwan, and I thank them for it. They're a little noisy, but that's our Latin spirit. <laughs> that's good, yes. I think the Taiwanese are catching some of that Latin spirit. Now, um, you describe yourself as a romantic. Have you pictured an ideal wedding and honeymoon for yourself? Oh, of course. I would love to have a beautiful, white, big dress. I mean, real big. And I'd love to have uh, all the people that I love and all the people that love me in my wedding. And I'd like to go to the Greek islands, Greek islands, Greek uh, islands, yeah, for my honeymoon on a cruise. Mm hmm Well, uh, you'll be taking applications if you're Miss Universe, no doubt. Thank you very much. Pleasure meeting you. Miss Mexico.
Miss USA is Courtney Gibbs. I think your cheering section rivals Mexico's. You're one of the most recently crowned misses. Uh, have you been busy since March 1st when you uh, won the pageant? Very busy. It's been a whirlwind tour. We've gone all the way through the United States, Midwest, and the East Coast. Spent a lot of time really seeing what's special about the United States, which is the people. Mm -hmm. It's been great. Now, um, uh, some of the people you met, I know, were, were people you knew before. You were, uh, you were recrossing old paths. That's true. I went back to Kansas City for about four days where I lived during my junior high years. And I got to see English teachers that taught me. I got to see children I used to babysit. It'll be like when I come back to Taiwan in a couple of years. I'll have the same friends again. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, assuming you're not on the road, you, you'll get a chance to vote this year, Courtney. Do you think uh, that we're ready in America to elect a, a woman president one of these days soon if the right candidate comes along? I would say it had to be the right candidate. It doesn't matter if it's male or female, just as long as they're the right one. Yes. And what about some of your own role models, Courtney? Who are some of the women who maybe have influenced or inspired you in your life? Other than my mother, I would think that Nancy Reagan has been very strong in, in my influence. She's very active in the Don't Say No, I mean, Say No, excuse me, to drugs program. And that has been something I've been really involved in. Mm -hmm. Have you get a chance to work uh, as Miss Universe for that cause? I would love to. Courtney Gibbs, very charming. Thank you. Miss Japan is Muzuho Sakaguchi. She's a graduate of Shoen Women's University. And what are you studying there? American literature. Actually, you've already finished, haven't you? I said you graduated, yes. Um, you're studying American literature. What are some of the differences between American and Japanese literature? Um, Ameri um, Japanese literature has more than 1,000 years history and American literature has 200 years history but <laughs> but I found there's there's no different um, it's so same I mean um, but we're a short story compared to you <laughs> yeah now I know you also had an ambition to be a race car driver yes <laughs> I hope yeah mm -hmm. Is this, uh, well, this might be almost as dangerous, uh, being on television, live, and Miss Universe traveling around the world. Where, where, where's the first place you'd like to visit? Um, well, I was living in New York for five years when I was a little children, so I want to visit New York first. And, oh, you, you want to go and, back? Yes, and I want to see my friends. What were some of your fondest memories about the good old U.S. of A? Oh, that was Grace Sale. And which? Garage sale. Garage sale. Oh, yes. garage. Somebody sold you a garage? <laughs> yes, uh, it, I like it very much. We don't have in Japan. And uh, I can find many, many antiques, and which I can't find in my country. Yes, but ours are only 200 years old, remember? Miss <laughs> 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 Japan, very nice to meet you. Thank you. Our first semi-final competition is semi-over now, so let's take a break and join Tracy. Thank you, Alan. With me is the reigning Miss Universe, Cecilia Veloco. Now, Cecilia, you were the first ever Miss Universe from Chile. Tell me, what was it like when you went back for your homecoming? Well, it was just incredible. There were millions of people, and I was overwhelmed by it. They gave me so much love. They gave me so much extra. I had all I needed to share with the world for the rest of my year. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Well, I know 10 young women who would love to be talking about their experiences this time next year. And we'll get a chance to meet the second five in the interview competition when we come back. Good five of our semifinalists. We have five to go, beginning with Miss Thailand, Porntip Nakironkanok. Tip. She uh, won the national costume competition, incidentally, and she attends Pasadena City College. Now, how did you get to be Miss Thailand from Pasadena? Well, you don't have to live in Thailand to be a, a Thai person. I hope to set a good example for the Thai people in my country, for I am a Thai person, and yes, I did grow up in Los Angeles, but I'm a Thai person throughout, and I, I, know, I live the Thai culture, and I speak the Thai language, 
And I just want everyone to know that I am proud to be a Thai woman. Who first taught you your English? My English? Well, English wasn't allowed to be spoken at home. Only Thais was spoken at home. That's how I kept my language. So I think I owe it to Big Bird. I watched Sesame Street a lot when I was a little girl. <laughs> I learned mine from the Cookie Monster. Yes, I understand. Um, now, I know that you have a charity project for Thai children that you work on. Yes, unfortunately, Thailand's not only a beautiful country that's rich in culture and tradition, but it has its problems, too, and our children is one of them. Um, in fact, 10,000 of our children died last year of malnutrition, and I'm hoping, as Miss Thailand, I can make a difference for these children. You certainly will. Keep up that good work. Miss Thailand? Miss Korea is Chong Yung Chong. She's a high school student and uh, she's studying at the High School for the Arts. There you are. Hello, Miss Korea. Hello. Um, and you have a translator. Um, you, you want to be a Korean folk dancer, it says here. What kinds of stories are told in Korean folk dance? <laughs> Uh, she's learning Chinese traditional folk dance right now. And there are two kinds of traditional folk dances. One is for show, and uh, another one is for the plight of woman. Uh, one is for the plight of women and one is for show, yeah. for entertainment. Will you be involved at all in the Olympics this year? I think she's competing in every event. <laughs> yes, she is going to be involved in, an, on the, in the Olympics. And uh, she wants. To, she's also very excited and happy about the Olympics taking place in Korea. She wants to invite all the audiences here to eat the Korean traditional kimchi. Mm -hmm. And come and stay at your house. <laughs> Korean hospitality. We look forward to that. Thank you very much. Miss Colombia is Diana Patricia Arevalo. She's a university student and she studies business. Hello, Diana. What kind of business do you hope to be in? ¿En qué clase de negocio te gustaría estar? Bueno, primero que todo, tengo que llegar a Colombia a estudiar porque no he terminado mi carrera y yo creo que mi empresa va a ser y no sé por qué, pero siento algo que mi empresa va a ser referente a la mujer y pienso montar una empresa sobre el maquillaje, sobre cosméticos. Well, first of all, I would like to go back to Colombia to finish my career. I haven't finished yet. And I believe that my business will be around, centered around a woman, makeup. Mm -hmm. Now, I also read that uh, you have a pet boa constrictor. Oh. There's a famous part of, uh, of Taipei called Snake Alley. Did, did Deanna have a chance to visit there and learn some of the customs? Eh, sabemos que tienes una boa mm -hmm. como mascota. Hay un lugar en Taipei que se llama Snake Alley. ¿Lo has visitado? <laughs> no, no he tenido la oportunidad de visitarlo, pero me han hablado de ello. Y mi mamá estuvo hace pocos días allá y me contó que es como una especie de costumbre en que allí cogen las culebras, las parten por la mitad, las abren y los se toman esa sangre para dar más vitalidad y más vigor. Yo no sé, pero yo creo que a mí me gusta tenerla, pero viva, pero no ni, come, ni tomarme la sangre ni comérmela. Well, yes, I've heard about it, but I haven't gone. Some friends went the other day and they told me what it was all about. They cut open the snake, they get the blood out, <laughs> and I don't think I would like to do that. Well, for those of you who are still with us, 
Yes, that is a custom here that uh, shows a man's virility if he, if he drinks that. You would think a nice mustache would do. Um, you are a lovely young lady. Thank you. Miss Colombia. Gracias. <laughs> Miss Norway is Bente Brunland. She's a personal development trainee. Hello, Bente. Now, how, how do you go about developing your person? Um, how, how you do it? It's a lot of things that, well, everybody goes to school to develop uh, special work, whatever. But they sell them a lot of people that develop their personality. So uh, where I'm a trainee, we have these things like enthusiasm, a lot of things. What's the first impression you like to make on people? The first impression? The first impression is always positive. Yes, it certainly has been here. You're a semi-finalist. Uh, it says you also have an ambition to become a comedian. What have you been doing for laughs here? It's a lot of work to be here. What, do you do, what have you done for fun? Well, I have Miss Iceland as my roommate, so... <laughs> and she's very funny. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> Lucy and Ethel in Taipei. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, we have done a lot of other things, too. We've been on sightseeing. And we've met a lot of strange people from the organization, cameramen and everything. Yes, I've met some of those strange people, too. <laughs> yes, big smiles and sore feet you'll have when you leave. Miss Norway, very nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Venezuela is Yahaira Vera. Yahaira is a medical doctor. If she wins, she'll be doctor, Miss Universe. Now, uh, you already have a medical practice, Yahaira. Why would you want to be Miss Universe? Ya, ya eres una doctora. ¿Por qué quieres ahora ser Miss Universo? Uh, as a woman, as a doctor, I, will, I can carry on a preventive medicine message all over the world because it's needed to promote and to promote the health. And ahora voy a hablar en español. <laughs> Y quiero decirles a todas las personas del mundo, a todos los hombres de ciencia, a todos los médicos de todos los países que se unan a esta gran meta, a conservar y fomentar la salud. Y de esta manera podremos hacer realidad el sueño, la meta de la Organización Mundial de la Salud que dice Salud para Todos en el año 2000. I would like to send a message to all of, all of the men of science, everybody around the world involved in the world of medicine, to come and join me in this message, which is so needed in the world. It's a lovely message, yes. Other thing, and uh, to help at the organization health of the world, uh, decir que mejoremos la salud para el año 2000. Yes, and, pardon me, go ahead, Armando. Let's make health better for the year 2000. A nice message. I should note that she's also a, a mountain climber and a marathon runner and doctor, just a general underachiever. It's very nice to see you, Miss Venezuela. First of the three steps between semi-finalist and finalist has now been taken. Now you've probably picked your favorite, but remember there are two semi-final competitions yet to come, so don't be rushing your vote at home. All of this backstage activity is in preparation for our swimsuit competition. Now, live television leaves no time for rest. And in less than two busy hours from now, the new Miss Universe will be awarded fabulous prizes, totaling over a quarter of a million dollars. We'll take a look at that very valuable package. Beginning with Miss Hong Kong.
Pauline is 21 years old. She is 5 feet 7 inches tall and weighs 110 pounds. Her hair is black and her eyes are dark brown. Miss Dominican Republic, Patricia Jimenez. Patricia has brown hair and light brown eyes. She weighs 120 pounds and is 5 feet 9 inches tall. Patricia is 22 years old. Miss Mexico, Amanda Olivares. Weighing 116 pounds, Amanda is 5 feet 7 inches tall. She is 22 years old with dark brown hair and dark brown eyes. Miss USA, Courtney Gibbs. 21 year old Courtney is 5 feet 9 inches tall and weighs 124 pounds. She has light brown hair and blue eyes. Miss Japan, Mizuho Sakaguchi. Mizuho has dark brown hair and brown eyes. She's 22 years old, weighs 110 pounds, and is five feet, six and a half inches tall. Miss Thailand, horn tip, Naki Ronkanok. Horn tip is 20 years old. She weighs 114 pounds and is five feet, eight inches tall. Her hair is black and her eyes are dark brown. Miss Korea, Chong Yung Chang. With brown eyes and dark brown hair, Yung Chong is 18 years old. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs 119 pounds. Miss Colombia, Diana Arevalo. Diana is 20 years old. She weighs 121 pounds and is 5 feet, 8 and a half inches tall. Diana is a brown-eyed brunette. Penta. Miss Norway, Benta Brunland. 21-year-old Benta has green eyes and blonde hair. She weighs 132 pounds and is 5 feet 9 inches tall. Miss Venezuela, Yahaira Vera. Yahaira has black hair and brown eyes. She is 24 years old, 5 feet 8 and a half inches tall, and weighs 121 pounds. We're two-thirds of the way towards learning who our five finalists will be. Our ten contestants will soon change into their evening gowns for that competition, which will complete the semi-final round. This will also be your last chance to outguess the judges. First, Tracy promised some scoring hits for you. Wherever she is, Tracy, oh, Tracy. Come I'm in. sitting on top of this pyramid to explain how five of our contestants will move closer to sitting on top of the world. The scores you see on the screen during each competition are fed into our computer. The five highest average composite scores will determine our five finalists. We're getting very close to that moment. But coming up, dirty dancing in the streets of Taipei, right after this from Pantene. This is 
Taipei, and we're live at the 1988 Miss Universe pageant. Our troop of players now provides a background of oriental charm and splendor as we come to the third and last semi-final competition. You're about to see 10 of the most beautiful women in the world dressed in gowns of their own choosing and serenaded by 66 adorable children of Taiwan. Observing a long Miss Universe tradition, a little sister has been invited for each of our contestants, and they'll be the escorts in this starlight serenade to their big sisters. Miss Universe Evening Gown Competition, beginning with Miss Hong Kong, Pauline Young. Dominican Republic, Patricia Jimenez. Amanda Olivares. Miss USA, Courtney Gibbs. Sakaguchi.
Carmelo. Judges now know everything they need to bring five of these ten contestants down into the finals. Is this a tough call? You be the judge. Obviously, a great deal of cooperation and skill is necessary to do a show of this dimension. And we found that the people of Taiwan can get anything done. You need a 30-foot bridge, come back in an hour. You want a 50-foot pyramid, ready after lunch. Well, we're proud to say there's a sticker on this show that says, Made in Taiwan. The Miss Universe pageant is extremely grateful to many people here in the Republic of China. And we'd like to take a moment now to recognize a few very special friends. Chairman of the host committee, Mr. C.H. Shin. Senator from the Legislative Yuan of the Republic of China, Ying Chi Yao. And it's my pleasure to introduce Miss Emilia Bien Bien Rojas, Chairman of the Board, Asia World Plaza Hotel in Taipei. And our thanks to everyone here in Taipei. Thank you, Tracy. Have you at home made your choices for our five finalists? Well, if you haven't, you better hurry up, because our judges have. And Alan will tell all of us who they are when we come back after this from Downey Sheets. If you think the contestants have a lot of costume changes, what about our troop of players? They've been a dragon, uh, an ocean wave, then presto, a lantern. Now, they're butterflies. And beautiful ones at that. According to Chinese legend, the butterfly is the symbol of the changing nature of beauty and the freedom of the human spirit. The national flower here in the Republic of China is the plum blossom. It signifies the harmony of nature and man, and since it blooms in the winter in spite of the cold, cold weather, it also symbolizes the perseverance of the Chinese people. Let's welcome back our 10 semi-finalists as I head over to pick up the computer results to find out who makes the final five. One of our 10 semi-finalists, you've seen and heard everything our celebrity panel has seen and heard. Now you get to compare your choices with those of our judges. Looks like Alan's ready. Here are the names of our five finalists competing for the title of Miss Universe 1988. Again, the names will be read in no particular order. Here we go. Of the five finalists, one of them is Miss Mexico. <laughs> oh. 
Also still eligible, Miss Hong Kong. Let's hear it for Miss Korea. Two chances left, and one of them is Miss Japan. One more young lady in the universe can be crowned this year, and she is Miss Thailand. One of these five young women will be the next Miss Universe. How about your selection? Did your original choice make it this far? If so, nice work. If not, try again. The odds are better now. For our judges, this is their final deliberation. They will observe as each finalist comes center stage, and at that moment, each judge tells his computer whether that young woman should be fourth, third, second, first runner-up, or in fact, whether she should be the new Miss Universe. One judge, one vote. Let's begin with Miss Mexico, Amanda Olivares. Amanda hopes to have a career in the import business, but before that, she'd be happy to become Mexico's newest export to the world. Her answer is going into the computer now. Miss Hong Kong. There has never been a winner from Hong Kong. Pauline Jung is hoping she'll be the first. She's an actress, and she's trying to act calm in front of the judges. Miss Korea. <laughs> Chang Yung Chong is a dance student. But right now in Taipei, she's a finalist, and that's all that's on her mind. Miss Japan. Mizuho Sakaguchi has already made a great impression on the judges. Will they make a lasting impression on her by awarding her the title they all came to claim? Miss Thailand. There has only been one contestant from Thailand to ever win Miss Universe, and that was 33 years ago. Porn Tip hopes it's time again. The judges have made their final deliberations. The computer is making its final tabulation. We'll have those scores, but first, a moment with Tracy and a very special guest. Our Miss USA pageant took place in February. Miss Universe is about to reach its final moment. Then there'll be just one more stop in our triple crown of beauty, the Miss Teen USA pageant. That's when this beautiful young lady will see her successor crowned. She's our reigning Miss Teen USA, Christy Addis. Christy, what are your thoughts? Tracy, I have had an incredible year. Filled with so many exciting moments, it seems like a dream. But I am looking forward to watching someone else start down that same road in July. Christy and I hope you'll join us here on CBS July 25th for the Miss Teen USA pageant, live from San Bernardino, California. Thank you, Christy, and congratulations on an outstanding year.
It's time now for the reigning title holder to take her traditional walk, offer her words of farewell, and accept our congratulations on a job well done. Here's Miss Universe 1987, Cecilia Beloco. It's a very special night. Just look into my eyes and you will see what all of you as friends all around the world, from Singapore to the Republic of China, in more than 20 countries, have given me and have made grow inside of me. Love and gratitude for each and every one of you. And there's no possible way I could ever forget nor erase from my mind and heart every single word I've heard and every single face and smile I've seen. A ti, mi querido Chile, gracias por tu apoyo. A ti, papá, por tu fuerza y confianza. Y a ti, mamá, por darme esa inmensa paz interior. To my successor, my very best wishes. And to all of you, may God bless you. Hasta siempre. Thank you, Cecilia. Our computer has tabulated the votes of our judges and printed the final result. That printout contains the names of our fourth, third, second, and first runners-up, as well as the name of the new Miss Universe. To assist us with the crowning is Miss Teen USA, Christy Addis. Now, these results have been reviewed by representatives of the international accounting firm of Ernst & Winnie, and will be given to me my now, my now, my now, I'm so excited, I'm speaking mumblees, a foreign language here. Mr. Mark Ward has given me the final results. And here we go. Before we do, I want